Hello everyone. Welcome to Nick IT Academy. In this series, we are learning different IACS scenario-based interview questions. The next scenario is we have the source table and we have three different target tables. We have to send the first record to first target table and second record to second target table and third record to third target table. And fourth record, we have to send it to third target table and fifth record, we have to send it to second target table and sixth record should go to first target table and seventh record again it has to start from here seven eight nine then tenth record eleventh record twelfth record and thirteenth record fourteenth fifteenth and so on so for this scenario how can we implement the logic so why the interviewer asking these type of questions because they want to understand whether you are familiar with all the transformation logic and you are able to think in informatica level if you get any types of question in this way first do it in the paper then it will be very easy so build the logic in paper and then the same logic you can implement in iacs so i just created three different target tables in our core schema and we have the source table here i hope you have this setup if you do not have this setup so please watch my oracle 21c or 11g installation video you can install it I have given the link in the description. Please follow and then create this environment like Oracle as well as IACS installation. We have employees table in the source and it has 107 records. And I just created three different target tables to load. First target table doesn't have any record. Second one doesn't have any record. Third one also doesn't have any record. Okay. So how can we build the logic? For example, if we, if we get any requirement for single source and multiple targets, we have to segregate the data into multiple pipeline. So we have to think router transformation. So please remember single to many, we have to always think the router transformation. Yes. So router transformation, take the router transformation and we need to create three different groups, right? Yes. We have to create three different groups here. Just to create three different group to send the data to three different group. So here, first record should go to first target table, right? So what we are going to generate the numbers here. So first record, we are going to generate number one. Then second record should go to second target. I will generate two. And third record should go to third. So I will generate three. Again, fourth record. So which, where it has to go? So fourth record, it has to go the third target table. So if I use one again, what will happen? It will go to first target, if I give here. So we are not going to generate one. So we are going to generate four. So four here and five and six. So because the same pattern we are going to repeat in this way, right? So we are going to have the same pattern in this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six in this order we are going to generate. If you generate this way, wherever one comes, just to load it into first target table, right? Yes, wherever one comes, just to go to load it into first one, right? Wherever two comes, we have to load it into second target table, right? Yes, here also we have to send it to second target table. Then third, third also you have to send it to third one only. It means we have to build similar logic what we have seen already. Up to now, the logic is clear, right? Yes, the fourth record, the fourth record should go to the third target table, right? Then it has to use the same group of the third, right? The third one it has to use the same group of third one. Then fifth one, it has to use this group, right? Fifth one also should has, it has to use this group, fifth one. And sixth one, so fourth one it has to use the same group. And fifth one, it has to use the second group here, right? Yes, the same group it has to use. It also use same group. And sixth one, it has to use the first group. So then only record will go to the same group. So if you if you consider this router, in the router, we will give next val equal to one here, right? Then the first record will go to first target. So here we will use next val equal to two. So here it, we will use next value equal to three. Then we have to, the fourth record also should go to the third target table. Then we have to use next value equal to four here, four, right? Next value equal to 
5 next value equal to 6 then this pattern we have to repeat it so if you consider so this one will go to the first second one will go to the second third one will go to the third again fourth one also should go to the third target table so we have to repeat this value so this is the logic so in order to generate this kind of sequence we have to use sequence generator here right so we have to use sequence generator sequence generator we have to use okay so we will implement this logic in informatica and when then we will check the records i'll go to iacs i will log into iacs go to data integration service i will create a new mapping just to go to new mapping create a mapping i'll create a mapping m underscore just i will give this name load three target tables load underscore three underscore target tables the cyclic order okay just go to source take the source table and select the source table so i'm going to select this hr schema employee stable source select it and restore the page go to target so here we need the three different targets so one is already available then take another two targets right yes we'll take the another two targets if you want you can give the name for the target table just to give target underscore one target underscore two target underscore three this is just a instance name target name that's it okay so what is the transformation we have to use for this particular scenario we have to use a router transformation take the router by default the default port will be connected so click on this plus symbol select the router to open the router here go to output groups so click on this plus symbol just to create three different groups so the first group will be target underscore one second group will be target underscore two third group will be target underscore three before configuring the filter condition we have to generate a sequence number so how can we generate a sequence number we can use the sequence generator just to drag and drop the sequence generator from the left hand side palette to this mapping open the sequence put a sequence here and what is the initial value so this is the value we have to generate right the red color one what is the initial value it has to start from one end value it has to end with six right six and it has to increment by one so one by one it has to increment one two three four five six then the sa same pattern it has to repeat we have to enable the cyclops cyclops so what is the cycle start value again next time if it is starting it has to start from one it means after reaching six it has to again it has to start from one so make sure that it has been changed to one if you are not changing to one again it will start from zero it will generate up to six so instead of six value it will generate next time the second cycle it will generate seven values and then reset option do we need to enable this reset option yes we why we have to enable the reset option because if it is ending for example in this scenario if it is ending with one or two so final record it is ending with two here right so what will happen so next time if i'm going to restart this this particular mapping for another records it will start if you if you haven't enabled reset option it will start from three only because last time it has ended with two it will start from three then four five six then one two three four five six this way it will generate so instead of loading first record to first target it will load the fourth or fifth record to first target right the first record will go to the third target now so to avoid that we are to reset to one one two three four five six again we have to start with one two three four five six in this way please make sure that we have to enable reset option as well as cycle option cycle value should be cycle start value should be one go to advanced and disable this incoming field so we do not want any incoming field the sequence disable it take the sequence to router and open the router and go to output group which we already created right first target go to configure so just to go to filter condition make it advanced define filter condition the filter condition is next val equal to one or next val equal to six next val equal to one or next val equal to six right yes copy this why we are giving r because any value because it may be one or six right yes we have to give r only not and just to validate and go to next filter condition so what is the filter condition here we have to give define filter condition next value equal to two or five 
right so next value equal to 2 or 5 yes correct then click ok go to third target group advanced filter condition define filter condition and make it like next value equal to 3 or next value equal to 4 right so just to give this value validate click ok here ok here we have configured all the three filter conditions and restore it and remove this default group from our first one and take this target one to target one target two to target two target three group two target three so open the target one just go to target here and take this target connection and select underscore one select t underscore employees underscore one this table and if you want you can make truncate and load go to field mapping you can do auto map or smart map for example i want to know what is the next value it is getting generated then for any numeric field you can give just i'm removing this manager id port i'm giving the next value it is not mandatory to show you that okay so what value we are getting for next value port i'm just connecting go to second target go to target here connection you can take the target connection and take this underscore two table you can search it here and get this table here and truncate and load go to field mapping and do this smart map and just unmap it take this next value port to this one i want to show you that okay this next value port this is what it is generating and go to third target open it target and go to target here target connection select go to target underscore three search it and select this target table truncate if you want go to field mapping so take this next value to manager id and smart map so it will be mapped right save this mapping it should be valid now the mapping should be valid now restore it and you can check it here right yes we are done with mapping so after that we will create a mapping task and then we will run it so no need to give default group because we are generating only these values right so no need to give any default group so this default group doesn't have any record go to new before that i will copy this mapping name go to new mapping task so take this runtime environment and select this particular mapping go to next so make sure that initial value yes it should be the same value because we already reset the value since we are using the sequence we have to create a mapping task okay please please remember we have to create a mapping task to hold that sequence value in the memory save this and mapping task should be valid now just i'm going to run this mapping and go to my jobs refresh this page it is running now succeeded go to mapping yes the cyclic order the record got loaded i go to first target table i will check it here yes it has loaded and we will check it so how it has loaded see here one and six sequence it went to first one right one and six it went to first one correct all the one and six right second one second one you can check you can validate this record right so two and five it went to second one correct two and five it went to second one and third one third target three and four yes correct so you can check the record see here third record and fourth record it is starting from 100 so 100 101 100 first target 101 second target and 102 and three it went to third target right yes so the if you take the second target it should have 104 right yes correct so here we have the 104 here and here we should have 105 right then that is what the number is repeating yes correct then six should go to the first target yes correct six is going to the first target right so in this order it is repeating i hope you are clear so please practice this so if you like this video so please give you a thumbs up in the video and subscribe the channel i will add more scenarios in this way thanks for watching we will have another interesting scenario in our next session thank you